Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be taking a look at ghost.org. So without further ado, let's go ahead and set up an account and create a blog. So what we can do here, we go into ghost.org and then we choose get started on the top right right here. So let's go ahead and click this. So before we add in our information, after clicking that sign up, you can see here we can choose a style to begin with. So these are the different styles that we can have. So we can change this later as it says, but you can kind of see what kind of blog these uh, websites are being made for, specifically for. So we have blog styles, we have podcast styles, newsletters, magazines, photography, documentation, and so on. So the kind of a blog that I want to create is something to do with uh, traveling. Like I, I'd like to create a traveling blog. So let's just choose uh, whichever one. Uh, let's go ahead and try this solo. So once we're happy with this, go ahead and click preview. And this is kind of like what it, this would look like. Bit of information about us, maybe some, you know, links on places that we've gone through, what, you know, we recommend and stuff. You can see these are different blogs, uh, different dates as well. So we have the banner up here and then our name or logo. And then we can see this as well as a, a mobile version. So I quite like this. Let's go ahead and choose this. So let's go to start with solo on the top right. And now we will be adding a publication name. So again, this says here, we can always change this later. So let's go ahead and create a publication name. So the kind of blog that I want to create is, you know, something to do with traveling. So let's try something like, um, travel, let's see, travel tales and trails. Here we go. We can then choose the brand color that we want. So, you know, we have the spectrum right here. Just go ahead and choose whichever you want. And then a little bit of information about, you know, uh, what our publication is about. So, um, let's say, you know, sharing travel guides. Um, let's see, experiences and recommendations from Mm, various travel destinations, um, including tips, itineraries, and you know, hidden gems. Here we are. Okay. Now, once we're happy with that, let's go ahead and click continue. So, what kind of setup experience that we want. So this is, you know, either a creator as a publisher or as a business, and uh, you have the main idea of what these are. So, you know, making things on the internet, professional writer or journalist or working for a company publishing content. So let's just say we are a creator. Let's go ahead and choose that and click continue. Now here, now this is when we have to fill in our information. So let's go ahead and do that. So of course, this is a free 14 day trial, which I just go ahead and choose. Once you're happy with using the 14 days, you can go ahead and upgrade this. So let's go ahead and click continue. Let's see. All right. Now, once that we have added our information in here, let's go ahead and click continue. Now it says here, our website is being created. So we'll just have to wait a little bit. And here we are. So this is our website all done. As you can see here, we have our name at the top left, again, our banner right here. And then this is our main website. So what kind of things we can do at the very beginning is we could write our own post, customize our own website, import the members, explore ghost admin. So of course for this, we will be creating our first post. So let's go ahead and click this right here. And here is the uh, editor version itself. It's all very, very simple. You can add in some feature images. You can use Unsplash as well right here. So let's say we are looking for a travel to, you know, um, from UK to Paris 
are from London to Paris, let's say. So let's go ahead and choose this one and then insert that image. So of course, these um, images are free to use because this uses Unsplash, so it's royalty free image. But of course, it'd be great to have some creditation right here as well. So let's go ahead and create a title post. So let's say um, right here, exploring Paris from UK, a memorable road trip via the Euro tunnel. So the main aim that I'm trying to do here is I am traveling from UK, going to Paris, and I want to drive to Paris. So, well, you know, what kind of things do I need to do? I need to create an introduction, of course. So let's go ahead and write that out right here. So introduction, I'm back on a road trip from UK to Paris via your tunnel, blah, 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 blah. So in this blog post, we'll delve into the best times to visit, suggest ex uh, exciting itineraries, and highlight must-visit places during your unforgettable journey. Right, so let's go ahead and add some more information into this. And here you are. Okay, so here is our first blog post right here. So we have an introduction at the beginning. We have some information on the best time to go. So, you know, best time to embark on this road trip is during spring, April to June or fall. These periods offer pleasant weather, fewer crowds, and the opportunity to witness Paris in bloom or adorn with the warm hues of autumn. Sounds really amazing. If you are to travel to Paris for a, you know, a one week trip, here are some um, ideas, itinerary ideas that you can do. If you want to take a look at some castles and countrysides, you can take a look at here. Here are some must visit places and of course a conclusion at, at the end. So this is what our blog post would look like. Now, I have shown you in terms of, you know, being able to uh, write into the post itself. But what kind of things you can also do is that um, here, right here, once that you click on the plus icon, you could add all of these information out as well. So if ever you've used Notion or any other uh, software writing, it's quite similar to one of these. So let's say, for example, I want to add a line here and go ahead and click this plus and then add a divider right here. And then some other things that you could do as well is, you know, just take a look at all of these so you can add image. You can add uh, a markdown, HTML uh, gallery right here. So, uh, you know, a post of all of your um images that you have taken during that time. You can do some bookmarks, some email contents, public preview, and so on and so forth. So you can add all of these in. And say, for example, that you have a YouTube video on this, uh, you could go ahead and embed this as well. And also, say you, you want to add an Unsplash, you could go ahead and do that as well. Um, adding more images into it like this and then click insert image you can see you should be able to see it right here so this is quite nice uh, if you don't have any image and you want to use royalty free image you can do that and uh, you know just go ahead and explore through all of these as well um, what kind of things that you can do and let's say that we are happy with this blog post that we have but we don't want to publish this yet. We can go ahead and just click preview right here. And we can see what this is about. So as you can see here, we would be adding the title right here. We have the image right here. We have our post, our, well, we have our blog post right here. And whoever posted this as well on this side. And at the bottom, we have this, you know, travel tales and trails, uh, copyright of our a website powered by ghost of course we can also take a look at what this looks like on a mobile and you know uh, if we were to send this as a newsletter as well you could do that and as a tweet you can see this as well so this is really cool especially when we we're taking a look at some seo stuff you can already preview your blog post right here now uh, let's add in a title, which I have forgotten to add, or I think it got removed earlier on. 
So let's um, add that back. Take a look at the preview. As you can see, it is right here, which is amazing. But now I'm happy with this blog post. We can go ahead and add in some settings into this. So we have our actual URL right here. We can take a look at the published dates. We can take a look at some tags as well. What kind of post it is. So, you know, a public post, a members only post, a paid members only, or uh, other specific tiers. You can add an excerpt into this as well. You can take a look at the authors right here. So you can add members into ghosts right here. And then you could toggle if this is a featured post. So this will be at the top of your website. You can add in, add in some code injections if you're familiar with these. Add metadata um, for uh, Google, uh, Twitter card. You can edit that and also your Facebook card. You can edit that as well. And finally, you know, if you've published this and uh, want to delete this post, you can go ahead and just delete this. Now we're quite happy with all of our information right here. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And right here, we have the option of publishing this, uh, emailing this and uh, publishing and emailing them at the same time. So we can publish them publicly through Ghost. But if you have some members who are subscribed to your newsletter, you can also send that as well, which is pretty cool. Ghost will do all of those for you. And you can as well set or schedule when to post this. So I'm going to go ahead and click continue and publish the post right now. And there we go. So it says here it's out there. Uh, now let's go ahead and click this and we have our post right here so this is our website that is currently running which is amazing so i have uh, we've literally written this just now and if you saw earlier on it said that we have two published po uh, blog posts already um to see the first blog post just go all the way down and click on previews and this is actually just um a pre-made post saying that uh, this is the name of the blog post, a brand new site made by the user that's just getting started. So things will be up and running here shortly, but you can subscribe in the meantime. So it's essentially, you know, reaching out to everyone already. So you have a very first automatic post by Ghost itself. Now, if you take a look at our website, this is our website right here. So we have our uh, introduction at the start here. We don't have anything here at the moment, but if we go down, we can see our blog posts right here already. If you're interested in us editing this website even more so that it looks more engaging, then leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified as to when we have created this video for you. Now, this is our front page. What we're going to do is we'll go back to our editor. Let's go back to our posts right here. So this is our dashboard. And this shows all of the different posts that we have. So we can manage all the posts that we have. We can go and, you know, create drafts, take a look at what's been scheduled and what's been published. And we can take a look at our site itself. Uh, do some more exploration so that we can get ideas as to what everyone is working on and also um, add pages for our website itself if you want to add more members you can go ahead and add them right here and then of course if you want to upgrade to the latest one you can go ahead and do so with this and here we are i hope that you have found this tutorial useful Go ahead and check out Ghost, create your own blog post, um, just go for it, have fun, and write what inspires you and what your passions are. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.